Coming to the stage, you might have seen this lady. She's actually uh, featured in quite a few things on Amazon. She's got a new album coming out. It's called Reverse Mortgage Cowgirl. <laughs> Give it up and keep it going for Carla Collins. A little more love for Sally. Oh. This happens to me with every big black thing. You remember Vargas. Okay. That was fast. <laughs> Sally and I, I know, stop staring. We, we, we starred together in Zero Dark Squirty in the book queef. Um, that half labia Caucasian girl was adorable. I want to put her in my purse. And I'm so psyched the guy who created Intervention is here. He was like, I love that show. I just love to sit back with a big box of wine and a pack of Marlboros and give myself tiny little cuts and then just <laughs> judge the shit out of those losers. It's the best. So you're adorable. Look, I, I got your nose. I don't know. That's, that's my play with young guys. I haven't been around anyone for a long time. I, I now have imaginary friends with benefits. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Sort of crazy, doing crazy stuff, right? This last year and a half, I started microdosing uh, mushroom risotto. It doesn't really have an effect. I <laughs> masturbated while driving. And I drive a school bus, so that was frowned upon. A lot of people are so delicate right now. I try to <laughs> meditate to calm down, but legit, my yoga instructor the other day said, take a deep exhale. Now inhale through your vagina. And uh, wait, what? I'm like, oh my God, can it breathe? Do I have to get it in an N95 mask? I mean, where will I find one so tiny? So I've noticed that a lot of priorities changed, right, throughout this pandemic because I loved it in the depths of it. The government was like, there are aliens. Yeah, yeah, no, no, look, look, we have footage of UFOs. And humanity sort of responded with a collective, it was basically, listen, bitch, I'm a single mother of four children under the age of 12. I've been homeschooling them. They all think I'm an idiot. I am day drinking on the regular. I haven't left my bungalow for over nine months. I've got my former mother-in-law staying in the basement. I've gained 40 pounds. I've had 10 nervous breakdowns. And I've baked so much goddamn bread that I have a contact yeast infection. So unless these little fuckers know new math or can bring my kids to the planet Krylon for the weekend, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Superior to other oh, going back to Roswell. I thought we'd be a bigger deal, Zorbot. Me too. <laughs> Different sense of fear. Like before COVID, my biggest fears were enclosed spaces and jockeys. Okay, swear to God, if I ever got stuck in an elevator with one of those cocky, horny little bastards, it'd be a murder-suicide situation. They're hor they're very arrogant for a horse's accessory, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I worked at Santa Anita and they're always hitting on you. Just don't like, like, cause they're like professional athletes, but just left in the dryer for far too long, right? <laughs> Be like in the elevator and he's like, hey, hey, bloody, bloody, look at me, I'm a tripod. Bloody, bloody, come on, look at this. Come on, let's do it, let's crash it. Come on, bloody, the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild. We are members of... <laughs> Use it like a loofah. What do you think we're gonna do? having insomnia, having any COVID dreams, you know, that same COVID dream we're all having where you're naked in the parking lot of a Whole Foods, you're wearing nothing but high tops and a Mexican wrestling mask and a Viking helmet and an all-boys choir creepily sings happy birthday like way too slowly, happy birthday to you. And then the travel Aussie gnome goes by on a skateboard and points and laughs at you and Justin Bieber pulls up as your Uber driver, but he's dressed like a slutty Bavarian in skin-tight leader hose and he's like, it's Oktoberfest! here, girl, yeah! And jacked up albino squirrels start practicing caboera, the My Pillow guy and Ted Cruz are pole dancing in the corner to a Proclaimers Post Malone mashup. They're like, I would walk 500 miles. G-Wagon, G-Wagon. <laughs> Just me, uh, one love. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a great financial plan, though, to get myself out of this. Like, I'm thinking, uh, geriatrics. It's, ger it's, it's apps for seniors. Geriaps for short. Yeah, I've got like some dating naps for the uh, for the seniors, you know, instead of uh, plenty of fish, it's a couple of fish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that app is Jewish. It just is. And uh, stumble, that's where women and walkers make the first move. And instead of okay Cupid, obviously okay boomer. 
you feeding tube. Tender instead of Tinder. It shows you where all the seniors are and where their aches and pains are so you can apply Ben Gay. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and I've got a nice soothing app that the seniors can download for when they're driving because she sounds like a fan fatale from the 1940s. So a hot potato. Well, look at you, doll. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride, see? <laughs> hey, doll, I think you're swell. I think you're the cat's pajamas and the bee's knees, but I'm not gonna put up with the whole lot of malarkey. Now turn left here, cause she's the fuzz. Let's go paint the town red and have ourselves in Manhattan, cause you're a swell looking tomato and I like your moxie. Well, horse feathers. Traffic is crackers and bananas, I tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna be Jeff Bezos rich. Sadly, this has divided us, cause everybody who's vaccinated is yelling at the people who are unvaccinated, you're murderers! And the anti-vaxxers are like, I will not be implanted with Bill Gates' semen. <laughs> Which is exactly what Melinda Gates yelled when she filed for divorce. <laughs> now she's dating Pete Davidson, who apparently is, I think, I don't, he, he must be, like, he, his dick must be so big, he doesn't get crabs, he gets lobsters, but. <laughs> I just got the late, so I've been working on my impressions, so I'll leave you with this. Uh, my, oh, thank you. Um, I was thinking, what would Bob Dylan sound like if he did Relax by Frankie Goes Hollywood? When you wanna come, come. And my thank you, and my second one is, <laughs> Mickey Mouse having an orgasm. That's right, Mickey Mouse. Thank you.